Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building, Takashi Six Nine. <laughs> you know that, Young Takashi Six Nine. What's happening, my brother? Everything, man. Everything. How you feeling this morning? Feeling real good. I'm tired of shit. Just pull the mic close to you so we can hear you and everything. What you was doing last night? Shit, you know, taking care of some business, but you know what I'm saying. I'm here. Made it. I was supposed to make it yesterday. The snow. You got pulled over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the hip hop cops was harassing you. I'm sure that's happening a lot more lately, huh? Yeah, you know. You don't think you're bringing that on yourself, though? Nah, I don't. Shout out hip hop police, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's start from the beginning. I want to start from the beginning if you don't have a problem. What's the beginning? Wait, can we, um, how do we get the name Before Tekashi? we start, can you spit that gum out for me, please? Oh, she's well, the gum for the police. Gum. It's going to sound bad on the mic. She's oh. the gum police. Sorry. Uh, so how'd you get the name Takashi69? <laughs> let's start from there. Man, I think I, let, let's, I, I, I don't want to start there. I want to I start. I want to start somewhere else. You want to jump right into yeah, it? I want to jump right into this shit. Man. Oh, let's go. Let's get into the juicy shit, man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? What you want to start with? <laughs> start with whatever you want to start with. All right. Well, there's been a lot of issues. Like we said, and you said the hip-hop police have been bothering you. We've been seeing a lot of things with you online. Why are you a causing all these problems forth. for yourself, sir? I don't cause no problem, man. You know what I'm saying? I address them. That's me. That's I'm the hottest artist in the city. And I'm coming on here now. Like You know what I'm saying? So... You're not just, the hottest in the city, I'm the though. Hottest in the city. Nah, you're not hotter than Cardi B. Nah, Cardi B, Cardi B doing her. You know what I'm saying? She, Cardi B is, the Cardi B right is now. different. Car, Car, shout out Cardi B. Mm-hmm. Cardi B, um, is in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? With more publicity. Um, what she got? The Bodak Yellow song. Yeah, like, number Bodak one record Yellow. in the country. You know what, three top tens. Body three top tens. Yeah. Yeah. Next Body week. Nah, yeah, that's yeah, I'm the hot, I'm the hottest artist in the city. No, you're not. I'm definitely the hottest artist in the city. No, I got. All right, but let's talk about the credentials and why you say that. Um, every song I put out is, is makes Billboard Top 100. I don't get no cosigns. I don't got no G Easy cosign. I don't got no Offset cosign. You know what I'm saying? Where like I I'm I'm self made. I started it. You know Cardi what I'm didn't saying? Cardi didn't have that in the beginning though. She had her two mixtapes out, and then Bodak Yellow was a song by herself. That's Did why that's why it was such a big deal when she Bodak, was number one. And she was the what'd first. What'd you say? She had two what? Two mixtapes. Okay, my f- my first project was Top Five Billboard debut. She debuted on Billboard her mixtape. Her second nah, mixtape. Yeah, her, yeah. her second. My first one. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't got. It's not no competition. I'm not. I, like I said, shout out Cardi B. I'm the hottest artist in the city. You supposed to feel that way though. You definitely you're supposed, supposed to. Feel that way. Way. I know. I, I know. I know. I am. That's and nobody gonna take that from me. That's why I'm. I feel like I'm most hated. You know what I'm saying? Everyone wants to come for me. How many people came for me? How a many lot. people? A lot. Why? Because I'm the hottest artist. And nobody but, ever gonna take. You don't that think away. telling people to suck your dick online got anything to do with it too? Nah, I tell niggas suck my dick every day. <laughs> you know though. You know. You know. My father used to always say, if you tell somebody suck your dick, man, you got to be ready to either kill or die. I and I'm ready to die and I'm ready to kill. Jesus Christ, that's not what we want, Takashi. Listen to me, young, listen to me. My thing is right. Look, this is the way I look at it, right? I look at it. If I if I could walk around saying I'm the king of New York, right? Don't you think somebody would have done something by now? Give it some time. Give it some time. Yeah. How much time? I don't know, but I don't think that you. Because that is a lifetime. I don't think you should be bringing that kind of energy on yourself. But listen, I'm gangster. I know I'm gangster. I know. I I tell everybody all the time, test my gangster, right? Oh God. Not listen to me. I tell everybody, test my gangster. A lot of people don't like me, but you know what I'm saying. I I'm not here to 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 to, to, to fit in. My 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 message is to be yourself, and I'm always myself. I'm always, I always push that message to be yourself and and, and embrace yourself who you are. Listen, I'm a kid with rainbow hair, right? Mm-hmm. I'm a kid with, with rainbow teeth. What does that mean? How am I shaking up the industry like I am, man? This is not supposed to happen. Nobody run down for a reason. I'm just saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people don't like me. A lot of people don't like my attitude. If you really get to know me, have a conversation with me, I'm a very humble, genuine dude. It, you know seems, like, it seems like you don't want people to like you. Nah, why you say that? Because it seems like certain situations get blown out of proportion, and it, you take it from one to. Let's 100. bring a situation up. Mm-hmm. All right, like let's talk about Houston, okay. South by Southwest. Okay. You so, and uh, Jay Prince. Jay yeah, Prince. Jay Prince Jr. is just Jay Prince, Jr. Jay Prince Jr.'s birthday party. He's just saying, look, I don't even know you. I don't have no issue. I just know things that I heard. But you do have to check in and at least like show some respect. That's not a bad thing. Well, what happened in that situation with Jay Prince? Um, I don't know the homie. I remember we we was in a sneaker store. It was a it was a Saturday, I believe, right? We mm-hmm. was in a sneaker store. Um, a dude invited us to come, you know, show his shop some love, mm-hmm. and he gave some sneakers. You know what I'm saying? So boom, we in the sneaker store, 
and the dude and the dude comes up to me um the 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 dude with the sneakers and is just like yo like um do you know who's Jay Prince? And I'm like, I heard the name, like, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? He was like, yeah, well, he's coming up. So at this time, it's just me and my, and, you know, my, my my friends, we in the we in the sneak store. So I see this dude walk in. When he walk in, I address it, you know what I'm saying? Because he come in with a mob of people. His son, Jay Prince Jr., not the, old, not, not the father. Yeah, yeah, the not son. the father, the okay. son, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And my thing is, I, I address him, I get up, I say, yo, it's poppin'. So the dude's like, yo, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, he. He took my energy coming off like, yo, this kid, like, he just came up to me. He don't come with his head down, bound down, like, you a regular dude. You breathe like I breathe, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, what's Go up to him. I go up to his mans and his whole mob, and I, you know, address him like, yo, what's poppin'? Like, uh-uh. But the energy wasn't, the energy wasn't on some like, oh. It wasn't like, what's poppin'? It wasn't like, like what's good? Like, right. it, it was just like, it was like, what's good? Mm-hmm. But it was just like. He didn't even like he didn't it was no I didn't feel no 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 static between us. I didn't feel no didn't feel type beef, of right. Yeah, it wasn't nothing. Mm-hmm. He didn't address nothing. We I, I God strike me dead, make me swallow my tongue while I'm talking to you. Oh my daughter, oh my daughter. We was in the room for like what, thirty minutes? Or did the sneakers like though? Hour. The sneakers though okay. Yeah. <laughs> son didn't buy son didn't buy no sneakers, didn't get nothing. He was just there. We was there for thirty minutes. Any 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 problem thing he had he had mm-hmm. he could have addressed blood I, when i tell you i was there with my man shoddy my man slash my man jack the, they was a mall blood and mm-hmm. it was strapped in the sneak store i'm just there you know being myself mm-hmm. like i always am and then just no situation party. now that was saturday right right i leave i'm like y'all got my sneakers i leave once i leave he leave you know what i'm saying so Anything he wanted to say, he could have said to me. This is what people don't understand. Boom. I guess the next Sunday he had his birthday party with Youngster. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he texts he text us like he texts my man Shadi and he's like, "Yo, um, pull up to the pull up to the um, come to the club, come to the come to my birthday party. Ah, uh, uh, twelve fifteen, no later." So I guess Shadi texts him back like, "We can't make it at twelve fifteen." We definitely come through and show some love. Mm-hmm. So we go to the club like around one, one thirty. I guess when we get to the door, he said twelve fifteen no later. You know what I'm saying? I t- I, but we had texted him like, yo, we ain't making it at twelve fifteen. So I guess it was a situation where he was like, nah, like, there's a situation we gotta address in private before we make it public. Oh, so you wanted to have a conversation with you before you was in the club and take pictures? Blood, we could have had the conversation in the sneak store. We could have had the conversation some. You think you what? feel like you disrespected him in the sneak store? I don't know what he, what, what he, yo, blood, like I'm a, uh, I'm human, blood. Like, yeah, if I came up to you, right, and I say, yo, what's good, and you tell me what's good, in front of all these people, blood, address the situation you got with me, blood. Don't wait till there's, a, uh, a, uh, a. Uh, uh, all your people here is for you to get the battery in your back to be tough. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Straight up. Like, so I guess we showed up to this party, Sunset. Like, yo, like, nah, let, let's address it. Boom. I'm like, when when that went, when if everyone knows that that happened on Sunday of his birthday, if you go back and track it on the internet, it was posted Wednesday, three days later. That's cloud chasing blood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nobody into that blood. Like, you a grown ass man with kids, a family. You know what I'm saying? Why didn't, why didn't you show up to your show in Houston? All right, so boom. Boston, right? I, I, Boston, I showed up. My bad. I showed up. Mm-hmm. They just, um, all right, so boom. Let, let, let's think like, let, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to it. Um, let's, let's think like booking agents and agencies and, and y'all, y'all do, um, yeah, y'all be having like little um shows, right? Like one of five be having shows. Y'all be y'all be doing like we get money like, for appearances. Con- you know what you're talking about? You're talking about like powerhouse like, and all that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. name one, yeah, like yeah, name one. Yeah. Powerhouse. Yeah, power that's what it's called. Yeah, it's like a a a, a, a do it at the ball place. All right, so boom, mm-hmm. perfect. So boom, say powerhouse, right? Mm-hmm. You book a headline, which is like what future you say, like the weekend future, the weekend future, yeah, right? Whatever. Uh-huh. So when you booking when you booking uh um 
just let's go with Future or something. Okay. All right. Say you booking Future, right? Mm-hmm. You book Future, but he's your headliner. Correct. At the World Star Show in Austin, I'm the headliner. I'm the main event. Like there's T Grizzly, Rich the Kid, YFN, Rallo, all of them. All, that was the lineup. Mm-hmm. I'm the headliner. I'm leading the show. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You book a show at Powerhouse, right? Future's your headliner, right? Mm-hmm. You're the booking agent. You're the you're the the stage manager. You're this. What are you gonna do to make sure that your, you book them? Mm-hmm. You the one that gotta pay him, mm-hmm. right? Are you gonna make sure your main event is safe, like for them to perform and give the crowd what they want? Absolutely. Absolutely, right? Mm-hmm. So me, I'm not dumb. You know what I'm saying? And and let me address this. When I travel out of town. I don't travel with a hundred people. I don't travel. You know who I travel with? Two, three people. When I went to LA for All Star Weekend, I'm with two people. I'm. It's me and two other people. I don't walk around. Why? Because I let my nuts hang. Like that's that's bottom line. Like you're kind of contradicting yourself though, because you said that if you got if somebody got an issue with you, don't wait until they got a hundred people with them to address you. So uh-huh. if, you, if you walking around. Proclaiming to be this big gangster, this big tough guy. Mm-hmm. You got to show up, even if it's just you and two people. Now, listen to this, right? Now, listen to this. Listen to what he just said, right? Mm-hmm. Remember what he just said. Mm-hmm. So, so world star, right? I'm the main event. So, boom. I am I show up. You know what I'm saying? I show up. So, world star's like, yo, we we make sure we got you security. Because I'm, I'm like, yo, listen, this is just me. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's grown-ass men... Marching the streets, looking for me, like that shit, that shit, that shit drives me. Like I got these niggas missing work, you know what I'm saying? They not taking care of their kids. They them niggas marching the streets looking for a kid with rainbow hair. Like how stupid could you look? Like you know what I'm saying? Boom. Bottom line, Jay that that runs World Star, right? Mm-hmm. He's like, yo, salute to my I, guy Jay, huh? Say so salute to Jay. That's a good dude. Yeah, yeah, salute to Jay. Um, Jay's like, yo, listen, um. You about to go on that one time? Make can you make it sure one time I got security here? Uh, uh, all this. Uh, uh, I'm like, I, I make it there. Boom. So the show comes. Um, Shadi called me. He said, "Yo, be safe. Uh, I uh, love you. Make sure you, you know, you you prepared. Uh, uh, go in there." He said, "Yo, but take a look on 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 the internet. Everyone's tagging me." So I go on the internet. The 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 J Prince dude. Right? It's on the stage for Rollo set. It's on the stage for um Y Fence set, mm-hmm. for Lil Baby set, for Rista Kid set, for YBN Namir set, for um T Grizzly set. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I call Jay back, I'm like, yo, blood, like you you got these dudes that's ready to, you know what I'm saying, play with my, play with me and play with my money on the stage. He's like, nah, but I'ma clear him. I say, yo, so I'm your main event, right? Aren't you going to guarantee my safety? You know what I'm saying? In the venue? It just started looking like a setup to me. You know what I'm saying? I said, yo, what's up with the security? Like, they allowing that? Like, to, for them to be... How am I supposed to give your your venue, your crowd a good performance, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm supposed to be looking over my back while I'm performing? You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to get world star on a world star stage. Right. Blood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, going back to what you said, right? He said, I'm contradicting myself. There's a difference between being gangster and being stupid. Now, now, listen to this. Nah, 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 Listen to this, right? I let my nuts hang, right? But am I going to go against 100 niggas that want to get me or be the smarter person and be like, stupid? I'm not going to let you get the chance to, to world star me and violate me when I could be the bigger person and be like, you know what? Y'all couldn't guarantee my safety. Y'all know that I showed up. Jay know I, I showed up. But you can't guarantee my safety. But now listen to this, right? right? Now listen to this, right? Mm-hmm. You you the type to that you want to see controversy, so you're going to be like, go in there. You tough, right? No, I don't. Now, but listen to this, right? Like like some people that say they walk in, I'm not going to let you trick me into, into, into taking an L. I don't take no L's. That's why I think that's why people hate me because I'm so arrogant and I'm so... But it's just me being like, yo, this is the truth. This is the facts. People hate the facts. Listen, you're absolutely right. And if you're now, smart but, enough... No, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Let me okay. finish. I just addressed... I okay. just addressed... 
what 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 he just said. That's mm-hmm. not. I never contradict my because I let my nuts hang. I'm not just stupid. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I, at the end of the day, I got a daughter to make it home to. You know right. what I'm saying? And don't you think what you do online is stupid? Though? Nah, it's not. But listen, listen, avoid, listen. So so that, anyway, that, that I show, show up, right? I show up. Mm-hmm. I show up. Jay's like, yo, um, the security. There's no security here for you. Like they don't even wanna. They don't want. I said, what you mean? They said they don't want. Um, I guess the security there was from f- Fifth Ward. And Texas, Houston, Houston, yeah, and, Jay Prince and they said Texas. they were scared of the, the 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 to even tell them to get off stage. Now you calling me to a venue where you want me to get on stage, and the dude is on the mic talking about like where six nine. So you never cleared the stage, blood. Like the it was a setup, blood. Right. Like it was it was. I was I was built. No, it was which, it, that's it was setup. yo, blood. Everyone seen it. But you don't setup. think you caused but, none of this oh, oh, by getting oh, online, oh, telling them to suck your dick, and I'm not checking in and all of this. Yeah, and straight that. up, man, but it was a setup. But you know, you from Brooklyn. You know, if you yeah, have a problem with somebody, I no no no. Now let's go back to powerhouse. Let's go back to powerhouse, right? Let's go back to power. Just so everyone that's watching can understand me, right? You we go back to powerhouse. Y'all there? Futures? Yeah, Helena. You gonna let somebody that be for future fuck up your Helena? And you gonna let them be on stage talking no. about what? What you gonna do? Nah, but I'm gonna make sure. What that, you gonna do? I'm gonna make sure if, if it's my venue, I'm gonna make sure the stage is clear. But well, if, we've if, had if, those issues. On. You make but one if artist leave because the other artist is coming in because you want to. Nah, make it's sure. not about but, that, but, but I'm gonna prom. But if, if you, you on stage while I'm trying to perform, right? But you in their town. That, that that's that's shit, their town. That's like somebody comes out of town to Barclays, right? That's not you that. Brooklyn, that's not that, bro. You know that, listen that you me. can touch them in your town regardless, easily. But right listen, or wrong. that's a fact. But for... Uh, Same uh, thing. A prof- like, that shit wasn't professional at all, blood. That was, like, that shit was so sketchy, Six blood. 6ix9ine, you absolutely right. But uh, you're not... Prof- yeah, so you're absolutely right in what you're saying, but you're not professional. When you online antagonizing these people, they're not just showing up for no reason. They don't. They don't just hate you because you hot and you got. Pr- nah, listen, I, I can say whatever. I can say whatever I want online. Like you know what I'm saying. So you got to deal with them consequences. Online. Nah, I do. And 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 like I said, like I don't feel like I ain't take no loss. I made it back home. I got paid. Like you know what I'm saying. So I, you still get paid for that, even if yeah. I showed up, blood. I showed up. You don't get your. You got your back. Look, in who, and look, look. I'm back in everything. Who? T- I'm, I'm with WME. Send, um, William Morris. You know what I'm saying? I make sure I get my back end blood. I show up, you pay me. I waste my time. Now, listen to me. You a grown ass man. These are grown men. Like, I'm talking about 30 years old, blood. Y'all know. 30 years old, marching the streets looking for a kid with rainbow hair that just went home with 20,000 for just coming to a show. Don't even got to perform. But you spent a now, lot of time look, in Houston, put, though. And you got to go back. You spent a lot of time in Houston. I spent a lot of money in Houston. And you do a lot of shows in Houston. And I do a lot of shows and people so love me what in happens Houston. when you got to walk around Houston and you want to, like you said, you got a daughter. You don't want to walk around and you right. walk with your daughter. And like and- I said, I, I walk around, I let my nuts hang, blood. Like, I go back to Houston whenever I want. I go back to L.A. I can leave this interview right now after this and book a flight to L.A. That wouldn't I be do, smart. It's, oh, what you mean? I, when I went out to L.A., I, I didn't have no, like, I didn't have no show. I went out there and I was out there, blood. Like, I was out there. You know but what I'm you saying? You didn't show up to a lot of your shows, though. Why didn't you show up to some of the shows that you had in LA? Na- name the shows, since you know so much. I mean, I don't know the names of them, but they I said saw, you didn't show nah, up. Nah, the shows were canceled because the venues were scared. Right. They were scared that something was going to happen. They scared that they was going to lose their life. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's shit you don't that think happened. You, you don't think you effing up your money with this tough guy, gangster persona? Nah, I don't know. What you think is a persona? It is clearly a persona. So, 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 what makes you think it's a persona? Because it's, you know what persona means? Yeah. What does persona mean? Like a, like an act. No, that's not what it so, means. So, it means that just as your persona, like you give off, you say you're a blood, you, you say you're a gangster, you say you're tough. That's uh-huh. not that's that's what you're saying. You're giving off that persona. So you're saying so you're saying that I don't live up to it. I don't know what you live up to. All I'm saying is that eventually it's gonna catch up to you. Who are your are these your OGs? Who's your OGs? I mean, ask them. They right there. I mean, I know some a couple of them is my people, so I know them. But so ask them. They right there. Which, who's, I want to talk to one of your OGs. Can we talk to the CEO of the label? Okay, put put put, put Trey on the mic. Cause Trey older. You know, put, put him on that mic over there. Yeah, Trey, we've seen we've seen this movie before, right? Mm-hmm. Like, don't you think that he's causing a lot of this on himself? Um, you talk to the mic, Trey. In a sense, he's um, he's um, expressing himself just like everybody else that gets on the internet. Um, people perceive it to be him. Uh, what, what's the, what's the term? Um, trolling. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Um, I'm I'm not in his generation. Most of the people in his generation, they do the same thing. This is how the rich, the kids, the, the 
all the other young millionaires um, achieve their goals, right? Mm -hmm. um, Takashi doesn't get on, on at no time, I can vouch for it, he, he doesn't get on camera, he doesn't get on internet saying that he's gonna kill anybody. He does say he's a blood, he does say he's gangster, he doesn't threaten anybody's life, he doesn't, doesn't threaten anybody's well-being. With that being said, this is America, we have a freedom of speech. So whether you, he's on the internet saying, I'm gangster, ah, come touch me, come take my chain, that's how he feels and what he wants to promote. And in the essence, that doesn't say that these guys in LA could say, yo, when you come out here, I'm gonna kill you. Or the guys in Texas, yo, nigga, you gotta check in when you come here. You dig what I'm saying? We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't check in nowhere with anybody. Having At relationships all. with somebody is something totally different mm -hmm. than checking in. Right now, Junior Prince is a, you know, he's his father's son. That's exactly. Got, these the niggas these the niggas don't these these niggas don't make nothing. Look, and and y'all y'all here, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all here. This dude never shot nobody, never did nothing, blood, living off his father's name, blood. I make my own name, you heard? But doesn't he, don't you think yeah. it affects business? And like when the shows st start getting canceled uh -huh. and promoters don't want to book them, don't it's, you think that's when it's time to book nah, them? Nah, nah, it's not that. Only two shows got canceled. Only two shows. And that was the LA. No matter of fact, one. One one in LA and, was, and the one in um, World No, Star. that wasn't canceled. canceled. That, that was, was one just show in that. LA. It was now, one Trey, show you, in LA. You from Brooklyn. You from, you from the same era as, as I am. We've seen this play out before. And, and it ain't got to be nothing about him threatening to shoot somebody. Correct. But there's always that, like you said, clout chaser that wants to Correct. prove something. Anybody can get touched. And, and that's what my no, fear is. I'm just no, no. saying, like, yo, blood, it's not so hard to find me. It's not hard to find me. Correct. It's not hard. Yo, boy, it's not hard to find I, me. Don't call me a boy, please. It's not <laughs> hard to man. find me. But, it's, not, yeah. it's not hard to find me at all. No can doubt. I, you know can I ask a question? Like, if right? someone wanted to find me, they would have been found me. Give it some time. Nah, stop, blood. Stop like, I feel field. like you, 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 even, you, even, you if, even if, um, you're going to be waiting a long time, right, blood. This is how, this how, um, excuse me for a minute. This is how I feel about this, right? Um, Takashi is the youngest and the hottest guy on the scene right now, in the music scene. They can't name a person that's hotter than me other than Cuddy. At all, he came. He came on the scene. He's he's he set the. Hold train. on, wait. Name one. Name name somebody. Name somebody hotter than me. And you mean just from the city? Just from the city? I mean, from the city? Oh, a boogie's a fan. Now you two, shout out a boogie. Shout out to a boogie. Shout out to a boogie. Shout out to a boogie. Absolutely, call me. Yeah, but yeah. Aside from aside from aside from that, aside from that, who he's running the game. I'm running the game, bro. All he needs right now is is the support from the city. You understand? And for people that's not his generation, because most of the hate is coming from the older folks. Right. We, don't, under, we don't understand what's going on in their generation. Just like when hip hop started years ago, the older folks didn't understand what was going on in hip hop. Right. We can we can attest to this, right? Yeah. Right. This is a whole new change. They say they're they're mumble rap and we don't understand their music. Cool. Give it some time for us to understand him. Right? Instead of saying give it some time for somebody to test well, him. Well, I'm not a hater of his music no, at no, all. We, I think he actually sounds like Fredro or Sticky Fingers. Def definitely. Definitely. Sound a little onyx -ish, yeah. Uh, it definitely Absolutely. sounds it. Like okay, can I ask some more questions? Because I see a lot of things online, obviously, so I just want to address some things that have been put out there. So what about become being a crip and then becoming a blood? What's the situation with that? Yeah. Uh, there so, pictures with bad around Not, here, not you know, yet. So basically, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Coming into the interview, I told him, like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever situation we got to, what we going to bring it to the table, blood. Mm -hmm. So, boom. As When I... When I was started making music and I heard that you um are cool with Scum Gang from Ooh, scum Flatbush, gang. Don't you academic said that you was cool with no, no actually, no, you know what happened? Um, um, they, they, scum they gang. Call, they called scum, me um, when they, I don't wanna give no uh, say no, 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 no names, they but you me. know they they it's some uh, some group that Ran with yeah. Um, they called Flatbush. me one night and they was like, "Yo, I got all this information on six nine. I said, "I don't care." Yeah, but care. you work with them. No, I but don't. But anyway, listen. What are you about? So 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 niggas. there's this dude right this from this Scum Gang from from Flatbush, right? Um, I used to run with them, but nobody could say. Nobody could say who who I'm crip under. Like who who was I crip under? Like you know what I'm saying? Or everybody's gonna post your pictures or this this and that. Who was I crip under? I live on 18 locusts, blood. You know when I say, yo, 6 9 this and 6 9 that, niggas on my dick and on my yak. Niggas looking for me, you can hit my jack. I done drop my address, you know where 6 9 at? I really drop my address. That's why I said it's really not hard to find me, blood. Like, like you know what I'm saying? I'm always outside. And the hood I live in is Crips and Bloods. So if I'm, if I'm, if I'm with Crips and I'm with Bloods, Yo, I didn't come home to this year. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if people like, yo, you running with Crips, I'm running with Crips. If you people say you running with Bloods, I'm running with Bloods. I'm running with both. I'm running with both. Like, they both my homies. You know what I'm saying? You, you was I ever... You, you was flagged up with the blue one, though. Was I ever jacking? Yo, oh, I'm, 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 
um, G Stone or I'm GS9 or I'm, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, yo, these my homies, these my homies. I done been in, in your homies' videos. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why you, I don't know these They your homies. Now you don't know. Nah, now don't you don't do that. Don't, don't put me on. Now you don't want to get caught niggas. up in it. Nah, so I don't, don't know, know so no scum game. Was, the bandana was for nothing or was just, just Yeah, like I had the bandana, you know what I'm saying? But when they post a picture, like, who am I under? Like, name... Corny, but who who was I under? Like you know what I'm saying? Like these things always jacking. Oh, they, oh, he's this, he's that. Like you know what I'm saying? So pull up on me. Like I I haven't met when I one brave soul that came up to me and was like, yo, you fool, you a fake ass gangster, you a rapist, you a this that and the third. Nobody got the balls to come up to me and do that, bro. Like nobody got you know what I'm saying? It's all the internet and it's all this and no, all no. That. By the way, but them, them the niggas did call, me, they did call my phone one night and I said I don't care and I actually gave them academic numbers. I said I'm too old for this shit. Call academics. Nah, numbers. nah. Academics said you called him right? personally. Academics is a lying ass nigga. Right, no, so no, 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 academics gonna get you hurt. Uh, I'm answer, gonna tell you why. Answering to your question, right? It's not. I was never that and turning blood. If 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 people, it's just all media. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they, I was never under nobody. I was never those. All my homies. I'm right on Locust Bushwick, borderline Best Star, right on Myrtle Avenue, right there. That's my hood. Sumner, nine hundred. All of them wrap them up. All can of them. Do that? Can you go from wearing blue and then switch over to red? I mean, I I don't think you could do it if you actually a Crip member. Like you know what I'm saying? But I was never Crip. So you, you know what I'm saying? So, and I was that, never so, crip. So, yeah. uh, like you said earlier, you said you like was, your homies. They man, stop saying that to me. I don't they know them crip, niggas. Man, blood, I don't you know, know them, them at man. all. I wouldn't know them if they walked in the studio. You know them niggas. No, so like, I don't. If I was, if I was actually down with his homies, nah, I wouldn't be able. But I was never down with nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now let me ask you. Listen, I could walk, walk around with a lime green flag and be like, oh, I'm patria. I'm, I'm not patria. I could walk around with a um land king flag and I'm like, but isn't that faking though? Isn't that false flagging? Yeah, but I was never jacking it, blood. Like, I was never like, yo, I'm G-Stone, ah, uh, ah. Uh, like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Half of the people that was in, 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 in these, um, videos that came from L.A., none of them niggas was blood. And it was in the, um, who's the nigga that came at me? Um. Who? Game? Nah, the other dude. The, Black 100? The, 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 the dude that was hot mad long ago that came out, um, YG. YG came at you too? Yeah, well, I think he left a comment on the game. Why you say you had mad long ago? Then he came out with the two damn Buddha song, like two thousand two. That was two albums ago. YG got some good. We like YG. He's YG got some good dope, albums. Dude, Come on, but man. you have to admit that the culture for of uh, that man. on the West Coast is different than it is in Brooklyn. Yeah, in Brooklyn we actually let like, nothing. saying these niggas talking about yo, he banned from LA, banned from LA. I'm in and out of the West Coast, blood like. Nothing happened to me. Cause I think there is a certain type of respect you I'm have to have for shit, people man. who grew I'm up. Saying, nothing you happened to me, bro. Like I'm in and out. I'm in and out. L. A. I'm in and out. Texas. I'm in and out. Arizona. And I show nothing but love. It's just dick riding clout chases that want to bring them on. You know when you the hottest thing in the game, you mention my name is clout. Like this dude. What, what's this dude's name? Um. Um. Who? The Planet of the Apes dude. Um. Casanova. Casanova. Oh, oh, Casanova. The dude, right? <laughs> Cause I, we seen Yo, blood. Blood. That was a charity event. That was a charity event. And listen, you guys are both listen, from Brooklyn. Listen, listen. listen. This big dude. Look, yo, blood. Listen, listen, listen to this, right? Listen. To this. I'm so hot, right? With the record that he put out. Set tripping. You know what he did for a marketing scheme? He put my name in the title of the song. I don't know if this shit still happens. Yo, if you type in six nine on YouTube, his video pops up. That was the smartest thing he could have ever did for his career. I'm telling you now. Mm -hmm. Did y'all know each other before all this? Like, oh, blah, like these, yo, you know I came out of nowhere. You know that. Mm -hmm. You know that. Mm -hmm. Definitely know that. I came out of nowhere and I passed a lot of people like this quick. Let's talk about you as a person. You, you know what I'm saying? What's your, you Mexican, right? Straight up. Okay. I'm my dad Puerto Rican though. Your dad Puerto Rican? That's a fact. And you, you was born and raised in Brooklyn? Yeah, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Are you, uh, was, did, were you influenced by Onyx at all? Nah, um, um, I, I, I heard their music. And I, I fuck with them a lot, but nah, more of a like DMX. Like, mm -hmm. Hold on, I don't think he fuck with me though. Who? DMX. DMX. How Why you know? that? What? I follow him and follow me back. So what? Oh my man. God. Talk about DMX. I'm too over this shit. I'm too over this shit, man. I'm too over this shit. I'm too over this shit. Slash. I'm too over this shit. So what happened with the game? Now what happened with the game? Bro, I don't know, bro. This man is forty. He got a family. He got kids, right? Why he not taking care of his kids? <laughs> hey, yo, blood, he, he worried about taking care of his kids. Yo, I, now I'm saying, like, yo, blood, he worried about the wrong things. Like, yo, yo, yo. Shut up. 
checking some niggas and gardens next week. Yo, his career, like, is, is like he trying to spark it, like, you know, like a, a old marriage? He trying to spark it up. Like, it's over, blood. Like, hang it up. What you doing? Like, I'm looking for a soccer. Are you, are you a registered sex offender? Nah, I'm not. Um, Were you convicted of sex offender? Like, nah, I'm not. You could actually look it up. You got a computer right there. Yeah, I did. I, 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 that's why. That's why I asked. Cause I mean, you can't, you, know? you can't believe nothing you see on the internet. That's we why I'm did, asking we got, you. So we got, somebody sent a letter up here actually mm-hmm. about you, right? With yeah. charges against you, and I guess it was something with you were 18 years old. Yeah. And the now girl, look at this, right? You, yo, right? Uh, if, if 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 I came, all right. So so look at it like this. How old are you? Like 40 something? Almost. Almost 40. Almost 40. Yeah. Look at it like this, right? <laughs> say 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 two two years ago was three years ago, right? Say three years ago. I'm 21 now. Mm-hmm. Say three years ago, right? I, I come out. I like you know what I'm saying. I had a underage girl in the video, right? Um, and you know, shit happens. You know what I'm saying. You know, girls lie about ages. Everyone knows this, right? She was 14. A lot of people get caught up in this, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I, I I come out with this. I, I I get in trouble for this crime, right? I I'm totally remorseful for the situation, and it happens, right? Now. What say no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, tell him what happened. I'm, I'm gonna say, it. but say he comes out right with the same charge, right? At the age of him, into the mic, right? At mm-hmm. the, at at the age he's at right now. This is how nasty the media is. This is how nasty fucking. This is how nasty the media tries to paint a picture and and violate. This is what the this the the system does to. To youth, right? Mm-hmm. This is what the system does. Now I'm a, I'm 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 an 18 year old kid, right? With my life in front of me. Of course, like if I didn't rap and I didn't, none of this shit would have mattered. But now that I do rap and I'm actually like somebody, when these charges come up, it's like, oh my god, he's a monster. You know what I'm saying? But paint it to where the people don't see, like, yo, the kid was. The kid is a kid, like you know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, and got caught up in some shit. When people comment under my shit, pedophile and all that shit, like, you know what I'm saying. I I'm so numb to it, right? Cause I know what I am and I know who I am. You know what I'm saying. Now, say if if I won't understand if I was his age, you know what I'm saying, and I I caught that charge and 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 it would look it would look disturbing, like you know what I'm saying. It would be like, what the fuck. But I think the media don't see it like, yo, this kid is it got caught up in some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like bringing other artists' business to the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? To relate to myself. But how many people out there get caught in some shit where a girl lie about her age? There was no sexual intercourse between me and, and the female at all. It was just I got arrested for being in the situation. Did you plead guilty? You plead guilty, right? I plead guilty like this quick, blood. Why? I was scared, blood. I didn't have no money. I was poor. Like this was mm-hmm. three. I wasn't rapping. Like I was. I wasn't. I wasn't mm-hmm. on some like hot shit. Mm-hmm. It was like, yo, you know, this girl was missing, and 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 she's this age, and uh, she's in foster care, and 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 her family trying to find her. When I'm hearing this, my heart is sinking to my stomach, and I'm like, my my girl was pregnant at the time, and I'm like, and they was like talking 15 years. They was talking mad shit. Blood, I didn't have no money for a fucking uh, uh, an attorney. I didn't have nothing. I was scared, blood. I was like, I was like, yo, I'm taking the trial. I'm fighting it. They said, yo, if you blow trial, it's fifteen years. So no more, was, blood. Like she was I dancing. Was like, in a, she was dancing on video or something. Yeah, she. It was just like, yo, I don't know if you ever saw a video of me back in the day when I when like I pedigree this girl. Like you never seen that shit. Like I did this wrestling move on this girl. Mm-hmm. That was back in the day when I was going. <laughs> yeah, Why, that's some, ain't funny. Why'd you pedigree a girl? I don't know. I was doing viral shit. I was, I was like, I was literally you playing, mad at you were serious? Now I was play, obviously playing. Like, oh. It went you viral. It was on World Star. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I felt like um, when I pled guilty, I was just scared. It was just me going through a jail system for the first time, and it was just like, yo. My life changed like this. It so was, does that make you a registered sex offender now because you did plead guilty? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm I'm a youth. I'm, I was a youth. I got a youth a juvenile. offender. Okay. Yeah. A juvenile, right? And they, um, yeah, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Nah. So a lot of people that you worked with before, like obviously you and Trippy Red had a good relationship, and that went left. What happened there? 
I don't know. That he the one that brought it to like light because he was. We signed to the same label, but I guess the label wasn't paying me no mind. You know what I'm saying? The label wasn't paying me no mind. They was like, yo, we gonna go with Trippy at the time. And it was like, he's the one to go out first. And you know what I'm saying? And um, at that time, I didn't even have Gummo. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they decided to go with him. And then I guess when he saw me working hard and just jealousy, you know what I'm saying? I guess it was more of a jealousy. But y'all squashed thing. it at one point. Then it heated back up? Or y'all never squashed it? I don't think. I mean, I don't got no problem with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't tripping. Um, but like I said, he brought he was the one that brought it to light. That's why it was it was like he he made like he made it seem nasty. Like Do things like that bother you? Somebody uh, how that old you were thought you? you was cool with and then now that happens? Cause some things have to bother you when you think, okay. That bothers me that people like like you see how like I know it's good for the ratings and all. Like this is probably gonna be I'm telling you now, this is gonna be like I just guaranteed this is gonna be your you guys most watched interview on you. I'm telling you now. Like I'm just that's that's I, I know it sounds You think more than Birdman? I don't think it'll be more than Birdman. I mean the Birdman shit was four years ago. When was that shit? Three years ago? Three like years this ago. Two like years I ago. think it's two years ago? like mm-hmm. two years ago? Yeah. Like this is gonna be your most watched. Like Are you signing Birdman? No, nah, I'm not signing Birdman. Okay, so you just posted that. that yeah, that's just mad. Yeah, bro. Like I'll be I'll be trolling. I, you see how I get under his skin? You not like, under I my skin. I can see I'm under his skin. Like, <laughs> everyone know I'm under his skin. You're not under my skin. But you see, like, I probably rub off wrong to you, him, and probably a lot of people. But at the end of the day, it's my job to get under people's skin. Like, well, it's, well, listen, you're not under my skin, but I just be concerned because you're a young man, you're making money. People like your music. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why you have to do all the, the, the other I antics. I don't do it, but I address situations. Like, name one situation I started. I don't know, but it seemed like nah, you started nah, a lot. Nah, nah. Name one situation. The Houston seemed. situation. I feel like How you, esca- start you escalated. How did I start? You escalated. Because if it went from- I, No, no. I, I didn't ask that. That wasn't my question. My question say, name a situation I started. I don't know if you started any. All right. That's all. Mm-hmm. Name no, one, that's no, not all. You do name escalate name a lot of things. Name one situation I started. I never said that. I said things. Nah, things I, know, I just say I things do, go I, from I, 1 I to 100. That's all. Because I take it You don't take no responsibility for nothing? Nah, I do take responsibility, but my question right now is name one situation I started. I just want to hear one situation I started. If y'all could give me one. No, I can't think of it. I, I, I really don't know. Ask but, me some situations yeah, you continued. Every one. Exactly. Why? <laughs> you know why? You know why? Exactly. But you know why, right? Because I don't let nobody play with my name. Nobody going to play with my name. Like I come up here, and, and they said, yo, they said, they told me, yo, is there any questions you you don't want them to ask you? Who said that? Nah, I'm not. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, because we ask anybody. Anything. But I said, yo, I want, I want everything. I want everything to bring it up. Why? Because I'm not afraid of nothing. Yo, if I was such a big bad, fucking pedophile rapist, you think I'd be sitting in this chair right now, blood? Like you think I'd be in this chair right now? Like yo, this Maybe. is. I just started. Uh, so tell me how. Because R. Kelly does it. R. Kelly does. There's it? a lot of people who. So so do you it. so I mean, you think R. Kelly is out there raping bitches? Oh, statutory rape, he absolutely has. That's absolutely. a fact. We've seen the tape. Never seen, oh, you young, so you probably never seen the tape. Yeah, it's probably back in the day, but yeah. fucking, like, I feel like in this... But let me say allegedly, just allegedly, in case, because niggas like to sue. Because he was found Even not though guilty. we saw the tape. He was definitely found allegedly, not guilty. So this, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But this is all good for y'all ratings, you know what I'm saying? I don't this want... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, like, I, 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 this is all like good I told you, homeboy. Like, this is all good for y'all ratings. This is something I want to address. I want to help y'all. I want to help y'all good on y'all platform, <laughs> you, got, you know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> I want every... We want to help you, too. We actually have a pastor <laughs> out here, and before you leave, the pastor's going to pray for you. I don't you. think y'all can help me. I think everything I, I'm I'm at, I've done myself with my team. Like, I... I I chose, like, I literally called, I told, sh- I told my man Shadi, I was like, yo, get me up there at the breakfast club. There's no reason I should, like, I'm already, I'm, I am I proved a lot of points. Like, you know what I'm saying? I came out, I came out November, mm-hmm. November, came out November, came out with the hottest record. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if I didn't have all the hate. Imagine if I didn't come out with all the hate with the way big artist. You know you can nah, stop know, the hate, nah, way I know I can stop it. It's a way to stop it. Listen to me. This is the way I'm doing it. Because now the shenanigans is lost in the music. Because you make good records, but yeah. people see the listen shenanigans me. over Ain't nobody the hits. that, like, this is my thing, right? A lot of people could say a lot about me, but a lot of people not putting up the numbers I put up. One, nobody got, I, I give back so much to the kids. I done gave, like, at least 
thirty to forty thousand away to kids, like straight up, like straight out of my pocket. I've seen you, know you doing that on Instagram. Nah, but I, I, when I say I don't even, I don't do it just for the gram. Like I literally be out there. Like you go to the schools in my hood, and they be like, six nine has stopped here to get money to. Do you kids. think sometimes about your daughter and like what she sees and what she might think? Also, yeah, blood. Like you think you she not gonna watch this interview, and and like. When she gets old, then she's gonna sit here and watch that camera recording me, and then him like saying like, "Yo, aren't you a sex offender?" You know what I'm saying? Like, I know like sh- this is all gonna fall back to me. You know what I'm saying? Well, she like, can see that on the internet. Now though. she's gonna see that everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's why she need to hear from you what really happened. But sh- I'm with her every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. she's gonna know. She's gonna know. Like, like I'm her father at the end of the day. I'm with her. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm there for her. I make sure I could provide for her. You think I'ma let people stop me from that? Yo, blood, I get called that shit every day. I get called pussy. I get called a faggot. I get called. You know what I'm saying? I get called. Hold on, hold on. I get called all that, all of that. You know what I'm saying? That shit makes me produce a hit every time. But like your hit is lost with the bullshit, though. It's not lost. It is. Where's it lost on the charts? No, yeah. no, no, man. I'm telling you, it's lost on the somebody, charts, listen, right? Takashi, where's it? Where's it lost at? Takashi, somebody, when you say, when you, hold on, when you say, when you say you, it's bro. lost, when you say it's lost, <laughs> the only way I can find it, I don't know if it's number fifty on the charts, if it's number twenty on the charts. That's what. That's right, where I lose it. The first thing you say when somebody says Takashi ain't that he makes dope records is he's in the beef again. That's the first thing that comes out of person's uh, mouth. And it that. shouldn't be that way. It should be the nigga's independent and he has records on the charts. That should be the first you thing. You know, every song knows. I put out since Gummo is charted. I know. Every song. Every song. Like, I could brag. I could sit here and brag all day about my numbers. Like, you, you know what? You know, you know, there's people that get no hate. That's straight love. Right? People that was no hand get straight love. There's nobody out there like that. There's nobody that gets just love. That's not the reality of life. No, 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 no. no. I'm not saying what absolute, but I'm talking about people that actually like get like clear to no hate. Like shout out my man Lil Skies. You know Lil Skies, right? Mm-hmm. Y'all know Lil Skies. I'm old. Never heard of him. You know Lil mm-hmm. Uh. Uh-uh. Um. Let me see, Lil Xan? You know, mm-hmm. yeah, well, he's just started getting hate yeah. now. He's getting a lot of hate right yeah, now. Yeah, because he's said, Tupac, just said he's he gave the Tupac worst artist. two on the cloud scale, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Nah, yeah, that was kind of fucked up. But there's people out there. What I'm trying to get to Name is one person people, who gets no hate. <laughs> nah, there's a lot. Like, Lil Skies is dope right now. Like, I'm going to check for him. Um, like, these kids that's out here, like, no matter how much I'm hated, nobody's doing what I'm doing. And I love it. Like, I love the life I'm living. I love everything i love the constructive feedback i love the positive i love everything about what's going on with my no you know what is crazy a year ago right y'all couldn't tell me yo do this do this this is the right way this is the this don't do this don't do mm-hmm. that do this yo stop stop doing this don't say this post this you know what i'm saying like last year nobody was telling me i was doing something wrong but now that i'm everything is going right everyone's telling me no you're doing this let me do what I'm doing because obviously whatever I'm doing is working. Nah, not when it comes to all that beef shit, man. I'm listen, telling you. You don't got listen, no billboard famous, records. Famous and, last and listen, words. Listen, you don't got, listen, li- listen, listen, Charlamagne. You yes. don't got no billboard records. Yeah, because I got a nationally syndicated listen, radio show. You don't got show. no billboard records. I got a nationally listen. syndicated radio show. I got a New York Times bestselling book. I've had hit okay. TV shows. I executive produce a lot of TV shows. I got movies. To be coming honest, out. if it wasn't for this, I would have never heard about you. That's cool. If it wasn't for you, and I'm telling, and I'm telling, and I'm and I'm telling you right now, and I'm telling you right now. You say you got a what executive radio show? Don't worry about it. I don't do nothing. All right, this is gonna be your most viewed. Um, this like I'm telling you for a fact, this is gonna be your most viewed. You took your GED test yet? Yeah, I took it and I passed it, and That's I wanted dope. to save it till the video that I'm about to drop is actually called Day Six Nine Graduation Day, and I passed it. So mm-hmm. can you say? Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank bro. you. I'm happy for so, you. So um, I that, did pass it, and what my was, court what was date the point is April 10th. It was, was um, going to keep you out of jail for real? Or? Yeah. Word. And all I had to do was get a GD because back then when I didn't have money for an attorney, they said this kid is a minority. He has nothing going for himself. He still lives with his mom. System just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And what happened was that I got caught in the system, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a product of of my society. Like I'm, I'm just a kid that made it up. It's interesting because you have some great messages 
that you're up here spreading. I'll Obviously, you do. Yeah, you do some very positive things, and clearly, you love your daughter very much. Mm-hmm. The kids love you, look up to you. But then there's like this whole other thing of just the internet. I guess like, my thing is, my thing is, I think my my message is is I hate bullies. I hate bullies. Like I put bullies out. Like you know what I'm saying. I, out of commission. Like you know what I'm saying. What happened to the boy you choked? They, they allegedly choked in Houston. Not this video. There, there's what a happened video. With yeah, that? not a kid just try to make a name for himself. Like you know, there's kids that's literally out there. He's like 12 like, this though. Is the time, yeah. So he came up to me with a phone, saying, calling me all type of names. I grabbed him by his jacket, never touched his skin, never like his jacket was probably the thing that choked him. But you know what I'm saying? I guess he tried to do something, and it was just like. But that's what you got to be worried about. Everybody trying that. But aren't you nah. doing the same thing now? Like what? Yeah, but I don't put my hands on people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't. You know what I'm saying? The kid tried to do something. They would just say, like, "Get up out of here." You, just, you know what I'm saying? You you looked for it. So at the end of the day, my 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 message is right. There's these people. I want to make an example. The reason for the rainbow hair. The reason for the rainbow team. I'm the kid that literally was not supposed to, like, I'm literally showing the industry that all that fake gangster shit cut it out, bro. Because a, a kid, look how stupid I look right now. I got a big ass six line on my face, right? With rainbow hair. And I'm literally sitting here talking to you and talking about all these people want to be for me and all these people calling me out, right? How stupid do they look? Like, I'm I'm literally the one getting under their skin and, and making them act out of character because you know gangsters though. you know why though yeah right? but look gangsters not supposed to even move gangsters don't even say what they're gonna do they do it but you know why though now hard blood like, i just think that they you know that with the gang culture in la that's something that i can't even comprehend what that's like growing up like that that's deep rooted just how it started but where, where do you get that from because because my thing is do you get it from movies like what, what do you get Gosh, just you a, young, a lot of nah, but listen you're listen, young man like, i respect you have no a lot clue. Nah, listen i respect a lot of gang culture that happened in la but there's gangsters all over the world, blood. You they know are. what I'm saying? And and I'm not saying that we tougher than them or they tougher than us. We gonna hold our own, like you know what I'm saying? Ain't not. I never took nothing away from LA. You can't pull up one video right now saying that I took something away from LA. But, I but, never did but it. what you're doing could get you killed, and I think that's part of what everybody's saying is because well, they're trying to quote unquote check you. So anybody can other get kids touched. Don't follow in that same footsteps. I mean, and famous last words are "I can't be touched." I mean, well, this is this is what I'm gonna say to you, Charlemagne. Till that day, I'm going to laugh because I know when that day comes, everyone's going to laugh. So right but now, But you can prevent that day is what we're trying to tell you. Then I, that's what I've been doing, blood. Like, what you mean? Like, I've been preventing You can't it, tell like, somebody to suck your dick and then said, don't show up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, you showed up. Like, you just don't tell suck your dick. I showed up. Why you keep saying I didn't show up? Oh, we don't know if you showed up. You said you did, but we didn't see it. You want to call Jay right now? Jay who? From Wellstar. Yeah. All right. Let me ask well, you why not come on? St- well, no. Okay. Are what there, are there any, um, I'm too old for this shit, man. That's all I Are there any older artists that you, you. you look to as mentors you that have been helping you out at all? I don't look up to nobody. <laughs> I swear. I, I mean, I, I, come on, growing up, though. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, no, no. You just, your question was like, is there any mentor that you look up to that, what? Yeah, right or now, maybe yeah. these older artists. Anybody has embraced you, reached out to you, somebody That's that you're like. Yo, we in New York, right? Did I, name one co-sign I got. Name one. One. I haven't heard one. Name one. I have to research that. Name one co sign <laughs> that actually was like, go fuck with this kid, this kid is hot. Uh, none. I haven't heard none, of None, right? Yo, this is crazy, right? The, the numbers that I've put up is without no co sign. Like, this is why I'm saying, like, yo, hopefully I'm making a song with Cardi B. Like, I love Cardi B. Like, I'm a, I'm a fan of Cardi B. Mm-hmm. But understand that. I'm really like no one could sit here and tell me that I'm not self made. Like like I made everything that I got for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like everything that I've done for my career is straight off the strength of me and my team. Yeah, you know, you know, so you know, why you fuck know, it up by acting not, I'm so not fucking tough. it up, blood. Like I don't act, blood. Like you go like yo, remember the interview I did with um I forgot who there was. You see me? I invite you to test my gangster. But the problem, Straight up. The problem with that, it's not, not going to be you. Somebody going to come. Somebody going to accept the Till that the day. Till that day. It's going to be one of your peoples that ha- that's holding you down. That's the sad you, part. And going to let something off. And now his whole life is fucked up. You ain't going to be the one shooting. Over. You ain't going to be the one fighting. I'm not the it's one supposed to. I'm not the one supposed to be shooting, blood. That is gang culture. That is gang culture. But it don't have to be there. 
It don't have to be that way. But, but listen, listen, listen. This is my thing, like right? You're not gangbanging. You're a rapper. But, but listen to me. You're a businessman. Listen to me. Nobody wants this problem. Like, I'm telling you right now, y'all interview so many rappers. If I say I'm the king of New York for the 500th time and someone didn't like it, something could have easily happened. You're not the king of New York that you can sell out the garden. I'm the king of New York. Or the Barclays or I'm the king of New York. Or or the king of like New York. I just haven't. Like, yo, literally, you know, I did one show in New York, right? One. Mm-hmm. And that was for the kids. Did the hip hop police let you perform in New York? Yeah, hell yeah. Because I know they have a. Uh, they Yo, shut everywhere. You down I, they think there's going to be. No, some everywhere I go, they shut it down like the president is coming. Like, they shut the two block radius, like, gates. The fucking commissioner comes out. <laughs> Listen, all of us been doing radio. How long have you been doing radio, Envy? Long time. You <laughs> don't want to say because you're a young boy and you've been in 15 years. I've been doing it for 20 years. You've been doing it longer than that because I've been longer? doing it 14. Maybe 18. I, this is my 20th year in radio. We've seen people yeah, like you come and go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you, they have a few hot records. They have a hot year. No, you, ha- you had people come up here. Shit. You had people come up here with one hot record. A couple. One. A couple. One. You're talking about one hit wonders. I, you know why I like people like him? Mm-hmm. Because... Remember when Gummo came out, everybody was like, one hit wonder, one hit wonder. It's just a beat. He stole the beat from Pierre. He stole this. He stole that. He stole this. Then Kuda came out. Everybody was like, oh. Then Kiki came out. Oh. What are you going to say? Then Billy came out. Oh. Then Rondo came out. Oh. I strive over here. There's nothing you could tell me. Like, I, listen, I hope you have a long career, but let's I see am. if you're around next year. I and I mean that as an artist and as a human being. What happened because in LA with the LA fight? What, what was that about? And why did you jump in? Oh, they're my guys. Oh, they too. was do. They was do from. They was do <laughs> from. Was your guy. Was now Aquelio was my guy. So mm-hmm. I don't know about no scum gang people, but Aquelio was my guy. So who the dude that got his face torn up? The one with I the stitches. I don't. I don't. I don't know. You saw the butterfly stitches he had that it was like torn. Like it was like three inches. I think I got the picture. Now from my. <laughs> what happened? We don't need to see the picture. From my understanding, was was that, that over? Your man? With the butterfly stitches? I don't know about the Nah, he not your man. No, listen to me. Remember when you reported the story? Remember when you reported the story and you was like a Quelio and I was like, oh, I know them dudes. Is he your man or not? It's a bunch of them. I don't know who exactly was there. Yo, once I mentioned butterfly stitches, nah, I don't know which one, but do you know? Which one is your man? I don't know who got cut. Oh, I. Since that, what happened? So basically, these dudes not from LA. I guess it was, from it, was, it was it was it was over some girls. Mm-hmm. I guess my man. Disrespectful to, to they some said girl you was they disrespectful said. to yeah. their sister as she was walking into the airport. I was disrespectful to my man. Oh, your man, somebody. Yeah. I don't know. I I just know once my man um um was out there, but it was it wasn't like no LA dudes. It was no. It was literally mm-hmm. some dudes from out of town that was coming in for All Star Weekend picking up some girls, and I guess my man was helping them. It was some it was some regular shit, like you know regular. Shit, um, but you got your man's number? I do actually. Call him. Let's call him. Let me see. <laughs> My goodness. No, let's call him. Let me see. Is he your man? What's the plans for the music while he's calling for the future? Nothing. I'm putting I, out records. Yo, I know, I'm putting out so what's records. The, what's the plan like, for what's you? What's your though? favorite I know, record by me? Do you I know have that a, you're looking for Do you have a record? For- that you like mommy or you just don't listen to me at all because all the allegations? No, I've listened to you. I'm from <laughs> Brooklyn. So, so what's of song? course I have to. I like Kuda. Kuda? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite record by me? I'm a DJ, so I, I like I like the, the Gummo, Gummo record. Gummo? What about yours? He don't know one. I couldn't know the name of <laughs> He don't Whichever know one, one you sound like Fred on. Uh, that's all of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard a couple. Listen, I don't dislike your music. I Did just, you buy I, the album? No. I don't dislike your Did music. Did you buy the album? No. We stream, we stream music. I don't really. Yeah, know. We stream right, from we I don't should. have to buy. It. We stream from time. Listen, I don't dislike your music. I'm just concerned about you as an individual. I think you need to stop because being concerned I, about I me. I think you're 21. You're 21, else. and you got influence over these kids. And I think that you might be putting the wrong. But thing nah, to these I'm not, bro. You know what? I think you. All, I think all y'all see is what y'all want to see. Cause there's a That's lot what you of show us. there's a lot of stuff I do for the kids that. I extend my hands. Well, tell academics start people. posting that shit instead of posting all nah, the negative things. Nah, academics do what you want. Do. Academics is actually a good friend of mine. Like, <laughs> shout out academics. He does his job. Call the pastor in here to pray for the young man. Did, did, I can't did, talk to did, this did young man. Did you call anymore. your friend? Yeah, he ain't pick up. He ain't pick up? <laughs> yeah. So now, what about? Up. Don't you just want to be able to say, you know, Trey, I want to take on. my it's daughter you believe in God, to Trey. Great Adventure? I want to take my daughter <laughs> to Coney Island and not have to look behind my back and make sure that you're good. Yo, you know. Every time I'm in the city, I don't look behind my back. This is really my city. Like no one ever tried me. Yo, you can't pull a, you can't pull a video out. Like yo, we had a white. I'm sorry. Yo, you know. I'm sorry. You, you can't. Yo, you hear me? You can't. You can't. 
You can't find a video right now, right? You can't find a video right now of a person. T you see how when they punch them in the back of the head? Yeah. When they punch them in the back of the head in New York? Yeah. No, you can't find one video of someone testing me in my own city because this is really my city. No one will dare put a hand on me. Like, you know what I'm Lord saying? Lord have mercy. Famous last words. Pastor, please pray Yo, for the bro. brother Takashi. Like, they, yeah, put, they put the hand on me. No, we're going to pray. I'm going to say a prayer for you. Pray for him. I'm going to show you how much <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you how Yo, much y'all want to see Houston. What's your name? Houston, too. How Brian, you doing, Pastor Brian? Houston? Houston? Hold on. We get, him, we get him a chair. Yeah. I, now, pa Pastor, let Pastor Brian, want, let Pastor Brian sit, man. Pastor, let, let the pastor sit. Nah, nah, man. look, Pastor. This is a young, young brother who, who, who Pastor Brian, who, look. This is a young brother Pastor who don't Brian, know no better Pastor yet. Pastor Brian, look. This, you think I, he can't Pastor be touched? Brian, now nah, listen. I never got touched, right? There's a video of him getting touched. Yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? Pray, we need you to definitely pray for him too, Pastor. Pray for him. You mean touched by God? No, no, no. no I definitely no, touched no, by no, God. The guy hit me in the back of the head. Pray for some goons. It hit him and he ran. I did. It was another video too. It was two videos of, of another incident where I beat the shit out of a guy. Too. Nah, I never seen that one. I, I, know. I, I never seen that because I don't care about stuff like that. He needs forgiveness too, Pastor. He needs forgiveness too. Don't worry about that though. Pastor, please play for this young man because I feel like if you don't pray for him, pray for him first. I feel like no. I'll let you pray for me because I actually believe in God. We're gonna all pray together. Stop. Everybody praying together. Everybody praying together. Pastor, please pray for this young man because I feel like if you don't pray for him, I actually believe in God. We're gonna all pray together. Stop. Everybody praying together. Pastor, see you running from God. See, you don't get this prayer, you gonna be dead in a year if you don't get this prayer. Nah, you know what? You know what's crazy? When I went to school, when I before the prayer starts when I went to when I went to school right he reminds me a lot of my teachers when I went to school um, I'd stop going to school in middle school in IS-71 I did go to high school for like only orientation but then my dad passed away that summer so I just stopped going to school but there was teachers that would always tell me yo what like I was a special lad like straight up like I was for my behavior mm -hmm. like I've always been a me a, too a, 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 like uh, yeah but that was my long ago Five, five, look, five to ten. They was like, yo, where do you see yourself in five or ten years, right? And I said, I don't know. Cause you know what I'm saying? I really didn't know. I was just a Mexican kid with pay less shoes, like straight up, like mm -hmm. bottom to bottom. They were like, yo, you're, one therapist told me, yo, you're going to be cleaning my car. Like a therapist told me that. Wow. And um, the teachers would be like, yo, with the mouth you That's have. Racist. Yeah, they said, with the mouth you have, you'll be dead in jail. And that shit stuck with me. And you see, he said, like, yo, like, with the mouth you have, you'll be dead next year. In five, ten years, I have five platinum records, right, that's coming. Five billboard hits, right? And no one will ever fucking take that away from me. I pray so. $300,000 around my neck. My beautiful daughter. I'm able to give back to my community. The kids, the kid that I was back back in the day, I didn't have a person coming to school and giving 5000 10000 20000 I make sure I do that in my community, and that's why I'm the king of my city. But let's start this prayer. Let's say right. a prayer, my brother. Let's say uh, it. Right. Pastor Brian yeah, Houston. Yeah, you want me to pray right now? Yes, hold his right. hand too, please. Yeah. So, hey, I'm gonna hold your hand. I'm gonna hold your hand. I'm gonna hold your hand. Now they gonna, gonna meme here. this. Here they gonna meme here. this, okay? Hold on. This is gonna be a meme. Father, I'm just so grateful for the chance right now to pray for Takashi 69. Thank you for what's on his life. Thank you, Lord, for the gift and the talent you've given him. Thank you, Father, that. He has a life that can make a huge difference for a lot of people. Lord, I pray you'll keep him well, you'll keep him strong, you'll keep him healthy, help him make wise and the good decisions so that he can fulfill all of that potential that you've given him. Lord, I just ask right now for those who he loves, his little girl, father, people in his world, that you will also bless them. We pray for Charlemagne. We thank you for him and thank you, Father, for all you're doing in and through his life as well. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yo, he tickled my palm, B. Thank you. <laughs> he did like this with his pinky in the middle of my palm. <laughs> I'm All saying. right, well, there you have it. It's Takashi right, 69, Tekashi six nine, man. Six We're wishing you the best. You know, Can't yeah. do you living up to your full potential. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm not done yet. I got, I got watch, you're going to see. I, I got three more records coming out that's done in this billboard. Like, every, i probably retire this year. I ain't going to lie. Because I literally came in the game this year and I'm going to make Don't try to cop out. Remember, I, I put a challenge oh, on oh, you. Yeah, you got to yeah, be around so, next so year. I'm going to be around next year. I'm going to be out. I'll be out to 2020. When 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 Bobby Schmurter come back, I'll just give it. I'll give everything. I'll be like, yo, take it back. You know what I'm saying? Treyway shit, man. And listen, right. when you and when you get touched, just make sure to hit me up. And when be you like, get touched, I swear to God. When you get touched, I swear don't to you. Don't do that in front of the pastor. Why are you swear to God in front of the pastor? <laughs> oh, I'm not what supposed to swear. What's up you, man? <laughs> nah, I didn't say swear to God. Yes, you did. I said it. Yeah, yes. you said it. Yeah. Damn. Said it. I swear. There you go. Don't do to Charlemagne okay. that I would make sure you're the first person I call and I'll be like, yo. I'll let you handle it. And I'm gonna say it happens. Yeah. Now what now 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 you're gonna change your ways a but little bit. But trust me, it's never gonna happen. Oh, and everyone God. in this room guarantee it's never gonna happen. You ever seen Lean on Me? 
Nah, that shit. That's mad long ago, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't black. know why he like, asked you that. And lean on me. Joe Clark said. Joe Clark said, if you don't change your ways, you'll be dead in a year, son. All right. Well, I'm here to stay. Like, you see me in 2069, man. Like, I'm here, man. I'm here to stay. He gonna be. You gonna be dead in two. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Anyway, well, it's Takashi, don't put that on me. How would I be in 2069? I'd be like 80 something. All right. Well, it's Takashi <laughs> six nine. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.